on your leg, on your upper leg, only the thumbs backwards. And the most important thing is to let your spine be erected by itself throughout the whole shake your tail segment in the soft silk and brocade and just coming to the front shake your tail very subtle without strain in your knee you know that's also important and then coming back and take your time take your time other side of course Closing the form and feeling what is there. And now take really good care of your blood circulation. And pause for three breathing cycles after every round of this. Grab your foot with your hands. And as I told you, in shoes, we are not grabbing, we are aiming with our middle fingers on top of our feet, the opposite of the source point. No? But at, for, at first, slightly bend to the front, aiming on the source point, you back to the heaven, and then coming down as you like and slowly up again and when you are reaching your shoulder blades take your arms with you oh, a little bit more sitting now drop your hands on your hips and erect and open up to the heaven a little bit inhale and basic standing position and now three slow breathing cycles because if you are getting stars or something in your view you know that's enough for you. You might even sit on the ground or lay down if your blood circulation is playing havoc, you know. That's okay for me now. So, one more round. nice some silken soft silken brocades shake your tail and mm, shake your head a little bit but it's mainly to erecting your spine so and even shake your tail just a little bit you know without straining your knees and the horse dance take very good 
care of your knees, lower hip to the front and so forth. And then the most complex in this soft silken brocade uh, sequence, grab your feet with your hand, but with with closed uh, shoes, you know, you don't have to grab something. Uh, I can't show it. No, that's, no, that's okay. So that's your source point, you know. That's very good to massage, you know. You will feel something. <laughs> At first you will feel that there are very hard muscles and so forth, and you might feel throughout your whole body something you know and when you are losing up a little bit you know this is a, then then you will uh, notice a soothing effect you know a little bit energy but soft energy you know not 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 it's really nice you know so i even uh, touching this point while meditating very often, you know, to bring myself at first back into my body and then loosen a little bit. And that's the point to grab, you know, from the inside. That's uh, where the name is coming from. But if you are in closed shoes, you can imagine this point, you know, and putting your middle finger on the top of your two of your foot you know, so that you are not uh, grabbing the sole of your shoe that's stupid you know? and the opposite is also a source point I think not so powerful you know but it's okay these are the two brocades and these are really soft ones no, the other version is with tension. And you know already, we are the soft ones. We, we are stressed out enough, you know, so we are not fighting stress with tension. You know, we are getting loose. Huh? We are detecting tension and we leave them. So the, ne the first one is in the horse stance. The all the stance we are performing or nearly all the stance is the narrow stand. No. 50 degree apart with your tips of your foot. Weight in the front balls coming up with your heel to parallel stand, one foot apart, lower hip to the front, slightly bent knees, breathe into your belly if you are able and with your color bone a little bit to the front, slight gap in your armpits, uh, the front of your hands, slightly to the front, a little bit bent, elbows, you know, loose shoulders. That's the basic standing position. The broad stand is two foot length apart and the first horse stance is one more. The tilting your front and coming back to parallel stand with your heel and that's unusual you know you're not st standing around on the bus stop in this way you know so you have to take care of everything the m more unusual poses you are performing the more awareness you have to give your bodily feelings that's also in yoga, you know. Don't aim for the outer form, 
aim for comfortable feeling without strain you know? and if you're trying the X and the O position front back tilt your hip to the side to the other side lower hip to the front are you able to breathe freely so that you are really good aligned with your weight points? That's of utmost importance. You know? And only then, 